Hey guys, uh, you might be using a digital lab notebook in one of your science classes and um, part of the digital lab notebook that might be kind of hard is what do you do with your data? How do you make it so that it's not so sloppy just, you know, uh, written by your hand on an iPad? I understand that, you know, when you use a composition lab notebook or something like that, it's not too hard to do with a pencil. Um, it's a little bit different and a little bit messier on an iPad when you do it by hand. Um, but fortunately, the, one of the benefits to a digital lab notebook is you can make data, in particular graphs and whatnot, look uh, extremely well organized and very nice and neat and very accurate, um, which I know is something that your teachers would appreciate. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to use Notability in an app called Desmos. Okay, so what we're going to do here for a moment is pretend that um, I'm a physical science student. I got physical science on the left, so I'm just pretending that I'm going in and doing a lab. Now, obviously, you'd be answering questions like, you know, uh, about, maybe about the pre-lab or a hypothesis or procedure and whatnot, but I'm just going to skip right to the data section. So at some point in time in your lab report, you're going to have a data section, um, and in this data, you're typically gathering data within a table. Um, I'm going to make up two variables. One of my variables is going to be time. And then one of my variables is going to be number of cookies. And I'm going to make up some data real quick. F0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the number of cookies, I'm just going to say 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, and you can make a table look relatively nice just like that. I'm flying through it, so um, it might look a little sloppy, but that's good enough. And I think any teacher, or any of your teachers would be uh, okay with that. Now, we don't want to just simply, the reason I'm making this is because I don't want to have to just like make a graph like this where you have your Y variable and then your x variable and you know you just have one two three four and then there's numbers on the y-axis and maybe it'll look like this okay that's good for sketch purposes if you're just trying to communicate quickly but since you're being graded on your lab reports um, and the fact that no scientist would ever uh, communicate a lab or uh, their graphs like this um, we need to go some other route okay so that's just point point blank is it's just too messy. Um, so what we're going to do um, in order to get over that hurdle is use an app called Desmos. Desmos is free. I recommend you download it in the App Store. It's basically just uh, a graphing calculator. And on the top left there's a plus sign with a downward arrow and you're going to click on table. And by default this is what you get. And so I'm just going to quickly go in and put my Y variables. I'm just literally clicking on the space and then putting the appropriate numbers there. Okay, um, six, eight. And if you wanted to go another one, just click in that space, and you know I could add ten. Um, I'm gonna go in and delete these. So I'm just clicking on the number and then hitting the the delete button, uh, which is right here, the little X button. Okay, um, and one, two, three, and I'm gonna do that all the way down. So as you can see on the right hand side it simultaneously plots my points. So um, I have all my data in a table form on the left and then you can see that it's plotted on the right hand side. Uh, if you're one of those people that likes to customize things, um, maybe you want to hold the uh, circle in right here, the little green circle next to the Y1, just hold it in and you can change the colors of your data points and whatnot. I'll just make them kind of this reddish color. Um, in order to connect the dots you click this far right circle um, you have something that looks like that, which is nice for a linear equation or some um, sort of straight line relationship like that. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I kind of want to get this table out of the way, so I'm just going to click the two uh, leftward arrows right here, and that'll get the table kind of hidden from my screen. Um, now, one of the most important things this graph is missing is uh, our, our labels. So I'm going to click the wrench icon here in the top right, and um, where it says add label next to the x-axis and y-axis, I'm going to do that. So my x-axis label was time, and the units were hours. My y-axis uh, was labeled number of cookies. Okay, I can get rid of my keyboard, and then I can just click anywhere on the graph, and that, that screen will disappear, that 
little box will disappear. Now, there's a lot of, um, well, you can see that I, ha I now have a label on my x-axis and I have a label on my y-axis, but there's a lot of space that I just don't need, that my teacher just doesn't need to see. Um, and to make it look neater, I'm going to clean up this uh, picture. So, uh, by the way, one of the nice things about Desmos is, is if you just pinch in, you can zoom in on data, you can zoom out. So if you needed to look, uh, analyze data a little bit more effectively, that really helps. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I'm just going to hit the power button and the home button simultaneously. And that'll just take a picture of whatever's on my screen. I'm going to click the home button, go to my camera roll, and just find the picture that I just took. And this should look familiar. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it. So in the top right hand corner, the, click the word edit. And then you're going to hit the crop button, which is this button right here. And I click that. And basically the stuff that's just turning kind of dark gray is the stuff that I don't really care about. I don't, my teacher doesn't need to see all that stuff. Okay, and this is again just to make it look a little neater. And I know it seems at first a little time intensive, but once you do it a couple times or even just once, it, it flies through and then you get really used to it. So now how do you get that graph that I just made into Notability? So I'll go back to Notability and here's my here's my data and let's just say I wanted to put the table underneath or sorry the graph underneath my table. I click the plus sign on the top right area here and then I'm going to click on photo and all photos and I'm just going to find the photo um, that I just cropped and edited and there it is and now you can see um, whenever these blue dots are in the corners um, that means you can move it however you want you can move it um, to place it wherever you want in the document um, or you can drag one of the corners to make it bigger and whatnot and move it again um, and then if you just want to get rid of those just click anywhere else um, on notability and that stuff will go away now if you oops if you try to uh, move the graph again um, by simply having your finger on it and trying to move it all you'll end up doing is simply um, moving the page up and down so let's just say you didn't quite resize it the way you wanted to or you want to move it somewhere else on the page you totally can and so how you do that is you gotta make sure that the text button the capital T is highlighted and all you'll do is you'll place your finger and hold it on the picture and then it'll kinda of highlight itself and you can maybe I wanna make it smaller so you'll resize it and maybe I wanna like recenter it or something like that um, and as you can see we have a nice if I kinda of zoom out now we have a nice graph that looks good right there um, you know better than any hand drawn one that I could have made and so um, one of the things I should point out, if you for some reason forget your labels in Desmos, you can certainly just physically write them on your graph itself. Um, that wouldn't be problematic. And so maybe I'll just write time. And that was in hours. And I could also do that for my y-axis number of cookies. And I'm sure your teacher wouldn't be too opposed to that. But again, the point is uh, you have a nice, clean graph you could presumably do it with a table as well but you know that table looks good enough it gets the point across maybe I draw it a little nicer next time but you have a nice graph that's there and it's not too time intensive and like I said earlier the more you do this even if it's just once or twice uh, you end up doing it really quickly okay so anyways hope that helps